In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to make a gun bullet hole effect in Adobe After Effects. Here's the footage we will be working on for this tutorial. You can see here that the object is aiming and shooting at the wall. So let's make some bullet holes appear on the wall when he starts shooting. To get started, we will first separate the object from the background. For that, we will apply the key light video effect on the layer. So let's move to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Key Light, and once located, drag the video filter over the main layer. With that done, let's move to the Effects Control panel and pick up the Eyedropper tool. Now we will select the color which we want to remove from the footage. So let's simply move to the screen and click on the green background. You will notice the checkered background appearing instead of the green background now. That means that we have applied a mask around the area which we want to keep in the video. But notice over here that the video filter isn't configured properly since parts of the gun have also been removed. We need to mask the entire object first so that we can create a better internal mat. This would make keying very easy, especially when talking about the problem zones, like the hands in this case. So let's pick up the pen tool and make a rough path to cover the entire object. When we join the path, you can see that the area outside the path becomes completely blank and we can focus on adjusting the keying settings on the object. You can make a more detailed path, but it depends on the composition you're working on. In this case, a rough selection will do just fine. With that done, let's move to the effects control panel and configure the settings. Over here, we will keep the screen gain to 100 and increase the screen balance to 66. Now let's expand the screen mate menu, and over here, let's configure each and every value. First of all, let's increase the clip black option to 22. After that, we will set the clip white option to 23. Next, the clip rollback option should be kept at 2.4, the screen shrink grow option to 0.3, and lastly, screen softness to 2.7. Once done, let's create a solid layer by right-clicking on the layer panel, moving to New, and clicking on the Solid option. Over here, we will pick up the eyedropper tool and use it to capture the color of the background that we removed earlier. You can use whatever color you want for the background. With that done, let's click on OK and move the layer below the original layer. Now we will use this bullet hole stock footage over here and add it to the composition. So let's simply drag the footage and position it between the solid layer and the original layer like so. With that done, let's reduce the size of the bullet hole layer. For that, let's select the layer and press the S key. Once done, you will notice the scale option appearing over here. Now let's reduce the size to 9.3% and position it in front of the gun. You can do that by dragging the frame using the cursor or simply pressing the P key and you'll see the position option appearing over here. Now you can change the position values according to the video. For now, we will set the values to 780 and 314. Now we will cross-check and sync both the two clips. Let's move further into the timeline, and notice here that the character starts shooting right at the start of the clip. So there's this huge gap where nothing is happening on the bullet holes layer. So let's drag the bullet holes timeline and trim the layer till this frame. You can even use the shortcut key Alt plus the right square bracket key to trim the clip so that it starts from this exact frame. Now let's drag the timeline at the start, and now you can see that both the layers are synced with each other. Next, let's remove the background on the bullet holes layer. For that, we will apply the key light video effect on the layer. So let's move to the effects and presets panel and drag the video filter over the main layer. With that done, let's move to the effects control panel and pick up the eyedropper tool. Now we will select the color which we want to remove from the footage. So let's simply move to the screen and click on the green background. With the background removed, let's render and play the clip once. Now there are a number of different things you can try to give the footage that finished touch. For example, the bullet holes over here follow a specific pattern, and that might look a bit structured at times. To fix that, let's pick up the rectangle tool and mask out a portion from the bullet holes layer to remove some of the bullet holes that appear towards the far right. Now let's duplicate the bullet holes layer by pressing the Ctrl D key and move it a bit forward in the timeline, since we don't want all the bullet holes to appear at the same time. With that done, let's change the position of the layer on the canvas a bit, following the angle the gun is aimed at. You can do that by opening up the position option while the layer is selected and changing the values over here. 
or you can even change the position of the layer manually by dragging it on the canvas like so. Now let's render the sequence and check out the results. And this is what the final output looks like. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.